So explain how Box works, because it promises returns like Treasury bills, but it's not exactly the same as investing in Treasury bills. Exactly. They don't own any Treasuries, um, but they produce returns that are almost the same by a bunch of complicated options trading. But what's interesting is that if you own a T-bill ETF, you have to pay tax every year at relatively high rates on the income, on the earnings of the, the Treasuries generate. With Box, you get no tax bill until you sell, and even then, potentially a lower rate. And this is so interesting, because I feel like I knew about this ETF. I knew when it launched, but I didn't realize that it had this interesting nuance to it. So a immediate question, of course, that comes up is, why would I go through this ETF? How does this compare to just outright buying T-bills? Right. Well, the difference, first of all, is it's the government if you buy T-bills. Here, you're hoping that these guys are not making some kind of mistake with the options, and your counterparty is not the U.S. government. It's right. very highly rated, but it's not the U.S. government. So there's real, you know, potential risks you have to consider there. Plus, you know, the, the tax treatment, depending on who you are and what state you live in, might be a little more complicated. But generally, it's, it's uh, you know, it's, it's a big tax advantage for a lot of people. Tax advantage means it's going to get a lot of eyeballs in Washington, and Congress is taking a look at this. What's the latest on that front? Right. So uh, Democrats in Congress have made noise in the past about closing the ETF loophole. Uh, it's estimated to cost about $20 billion a year. And so uh, people in the ETF world, meanwhile, are just trying to find ways to put new things through the loophole, like box. Mm -hmm. And so uh, to the extent they're successful, that will that could potentially make uh, an even bigger target in Washington. If that happened, that would be like existential, by the way. We'd have uh, an ETF IQ special. I know, exactly. <laughs> we do an emergency show there. But when it comes to, like you said, I mean, ETF issuers trying to fit other things through the loophole, could we see other issuers go with this strategy, or does it only specifically work with T bills? What have you heard around those lines? Uh, it's hard to know. Definitely, there are other people working on similar things, but there's also other things that you could hardly imagine that involve this using the same loophole. Like imagine you had a hedge fund and you turned it into an ETF so you could sell your appreciated positions without a tax bill. That's the kind of thing that people are, are trying to imagine. You know, we have this like great loophole, like let's try to use it in new and creative ways.